Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Trading here. Today is Friday, April 5th. I'll be going over my recap for today. So today I started the day um, green um, and then I overstayed and traded uh, Zion and then I lost uh, uh, part of my profits. So uh, the first trade I did was um, CNET, C-N-E-T. So on the daily here, um, you can see that um, this day here, it gapped up and then it fell all the way down. Um, so I was expecting it to uh, pretty much repeat um, this day. So it kind of, it, it did that today. So it gapped up and then fell all the way down. So uh, what I saw here was um, a week I was looking at this level here, um, this 285. So it couldn't get back over this level. Uh, it, it opened weak and it washed out. Um, and then it retest this level. So I started short with my wrist off the 285. Um, uh, then I added um, and then I took, I took a, a little bit off there um, just to downsize a bit. Um, and then I saw this, uh, you can see this uh, cup and handle on the trend, trend line, and then it broke. So I entered uh, short again, or added more, and then covered here. And that was a, a good winner. It was like an $80 winner there. Um, and then I saw another opportunity here, um, midday. So there was this uh, two, 240 area. Um, so when it cracked low of day, I went ahead and short low of day. Um, you can see it's kind of flagging and you're you're seeing uh, lower highs, lower highs. So what I saw here, yeah, it was lower high, lower high, and then I shorted here and then you can see a little wick with a little volume. It popped back up, um, but my risk was, um, I think the 247 area. And uh, this one almost stopped me out. I had my stop at 248. But it was still holding this downtrend and then it finally cracked here so i went ahead and cover um here during this and then this uh next push down here for 230 and that was this was pretty much my target level around the 225 area and that's where this last previous day was um and then yep yeah, that was that trade and that was the uh the bigger win for today uh, FFHL so FFHL um, you can see on the daily here that pretty much every time it spikes uh, above or over three um, you get a big wake down big push down like uh, almost every time and it never closed uh, above like two seven two eighty so I, when I saw it pop towards three, I went ahead and started short at th uh, three. Um, and then I was wanting to add a few more at 320 uh, if it got there. Uh, but I ended up covering it at around 280s um, and then 285 for the rest. And that was just a quick $31 win. Um, I don't wanna um, over hold it because you can see on the daily here that's creating uh, higher lows here so it it could anytime rip uh, past these highs where uh, there's a lot of crowded shorts so I didn't want to get stuck there um, JMU so JMU I saw um, I think it was this level the 260 so this 260 area um, and then I think uh, it was holding this trend line um, so you can see it broke 260 there and it fell, uh, retested this trend line. It broke 260 again. So I, I started short when it popped up and then went back down. I started short. Um, and then it's, it squeezed up, uh, towards this high of day. And I actually stopped out there, um, for, for like a $40 loss. And then when I saw it retest 360 again, um, and then reset, retest 260 again, I went here and start short. 
um, and then I added more added more for this break so I break 260 but it held this trend line um, and then I, I actually downsized a little bit here and then re-added some short here um, so uh, after this trend line break here uh, it went down uh, to 250s so I took some here and there um, and pretty much I I, I regained all my loss from uh, uh, the stop here and then and a little bit more so that was that was just a $17 win um, but yeah it trended all the way down to 210 so um, I, I need to learn how to hold my uh, my winners longer but that's something I need to learn by either trailing the 13 EMA or the 50 EMA um, the last ticker I trade was design so this one um, it was, it was a little frustrating. I felt like I got in a little early and then I was stuck in a channel um, for a while. And that's what, um, being stuck in a channel is always a bad thing. But um, So the first thing I saw was this here. Um, so you can see it was holding this trend line here, here, and then that little there. So I went ahead and I thought I was gonna break this trend line and then and then uh, retest. Um, so this area here, I think it was the 880. So this 880 was a key area. Um, so you can see it bounce here, break up breaks here. Um, and then I see it was holding here. And then this is where, uh, this is where I wanted to uh, go down further, but it had a little wick and it came back up. And my stop was 282, 283 um, from this high. So I stop out there for my short, um, and then I went ahead and went long uh, for this break here. So it was starting to flag um, here and then break. So I went long around the 893 area, and then it had problem breaking nines over nine. So I went ahead and just uh, took it off, uh, downside and took it off, and that was a twenty-one dollar on uh, loss on the long side. Um, and then when I saw it breaking down to 80s again, because I thought that was a key level, um, I went ahead and start short. Um, and then this move happened. Um, and then it, it stopped me out because I had my uh, stop at around 890s. Um, and then it just squeezed right up. So this was a pretty much an unexpected move. Uh, I felt like probably a lot of uh, shorts got squeezed here. Um, and then because it just broke over 280s and squeezed out. So I felt that was like a weak uh, squeeze. Or it was just pretty much short skin squeeze, uh, including me. Um, and then and then I saw this uh, 280, 275 area was another key level. Uh, so when this 275 broke, I went ahead and started short and then that's where uh, I regained some of my losses back. So. I saw a short there and then I covered the rest here. Um, after hour is trailing back over uh, around nine. So um, we will see for tomorrow. This this has a gap all the way to fill um, towards the 10 and 9, 950 area. So uh, I would expect this to have another move up uh, maybe towards 10 um, to short off uh, or see how it reacts. But um, overall, um, I think I did well in the morning. Uh, I was patient, waited for the uh, break, break. Um, but I ended up giving it away because I was uh, kind of stuck in a channel, or I think it wasn't overextended enough. And uh, and a few of these spoofs, I think I went in too huge of a size, which made me stop out for uh, uh, earlier than I expected. Like this move, maybe if I had a smaller size I would have risked uh, at nines uh, but then I think I went too big and I actually stopped out for quite a loss there and then this short uh, and cover here um, regained those losses so um, five trades uh, up, up $38 um, this week was a little tough week um, the first week of April so hopefully next week um, I can uh, bring all of my learnings from this week uh, and hopefully perform better.
Um, but yeah, so as always, uh, thanks for, for watching everyone. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you next week.